called database of Christian preachers, anointedtube.com. This is a very powerful site, believed to be the topmost Christian video sharing website in the world today. It is ranked as the fifth best video sharing website in the world according to available data. It hosts videos of preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from all around the world. All you need to do is to select the preacher of your choice from your preferred continent at the top of the site. Scroll down, click on the preacher's picture and you will assess video content from your favorite preacher. You could as well share our videos on all social media platforms. We are currently targeting 5,000 people that we support Anointed Tube monthly and you could be one of them. To support, please click the donate or subscribe button on the home page or on the video page. No amount is too small or too big. Your donation of $10, $20 a month could help hundreds of thousands to come to the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ every week through the life-changing message of great men and women of God. Don't forget to support Anointed You financially. Don't forget to order your book and don't forget to order your herbs. Be the best that you can be. You are the best. You are blessed, shine, rule, have dominion and live in dominion in your world. I love you and God truly bless you. Yes. Yo. Yo. Yes. Yes.
<laughs> no, I like the food. king of Babylon, whose kingdom had more gold than dust, goes mad. year of the reign of the king of Judah came Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon onto Jerusalem where he besieged it
Nebuchadnezzar conquered Jerusalem. <laughs> the well-favored men were chosen, and the king spake unto Aspenaz, the master of the eunuchs, that they should bring certain children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the princess whom they might teach learnings and the tongue of the Chaldeans and the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat of wine which he drank so nourishing them three years that at the end there they might stand before the king Ananiah, Mishael, and Azrael, unto whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names. For he gave unto Daniel the name Belshazzar, and to Hananiah Shadrach, and to Mishael of Meshach, and to Azariah Abednego. <laughs> But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Daniel's proposal, then said Daniel to Melzar, whom the prince of eunuchs had set over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. 
prove thy servants, I beseech thee, ten days, and let them give us posts to eat and water to drink. Then let our continences be looked upon before thee, and the continence of the children that eat of the portions of the king's meat. And as thou seest, deal with thy servants. So he consented to them in this matter and provided them 10 days. And at the end of the 10 days, their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. Thus Melzar took away the portion of their meat wine that they should drink and gave them pulse. brought them before Nebuchadnezzar. The king inquired of them. He found them ten times better than all the magicians and the astrologers that were in his realm. Nebuchadnezzar's dreams and in the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar Nebuchadnezzar dreamed dreams wherewith his spirit was troubled and his sleep break from him then the, then the king commanded to call the magicians and the astrologers and the sorcerers and the Chaldeans for to shew the king his dreams so they came and stood before the king. Nebuchadnezzar dreamed dreams where his spirit was troubled and his sleep break from him.
Then the king commanded to call the magicians and the astrologers and the sorcerers and the Chaldeans for two to shew the king his dreams. So they came and stood before the king. And the king said unto them, I have dreamed a dream and my spirit was troubled to know the dream. Then spake the Chaldeans to the king, O king, live forever. Tell thy servants the dream, and we will shew the interpretation. The king answered and said unto the Chaldeans, The thing is gone from me, and if ye will not make known unto me the dream with the interpretation thereof, ye shall be cut to pieces, and your houses shall be made a dunghill. But if ye shall shew the dream and the interpretation thereof, ye shall receive of me gifts and rewards and great honor. Therefore, shew me the dream and the interpretation thereof. Ah. Ah. <sighs> but if ye will not make known unto me the dream, there is but one decree for you. For ye have prepared lying and corrupt words to speak before me till the time be changed. Therefore tell me the dream and I shall know that ye can shew me the interpretation thereof. The Chaldeans answered before the king and said, no, There is not a man upon the earth that can shew the king's matter. Therefore, there is no king, lord, nor ruler that asks such things at any magician or astrologer or Chaldean. And it is a rare thing that a king requireth, and there is none other that can shew it before the king except the gods whose dwelling is not with flesh. For this cause the king was angry and very furious and commanded to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. And the decree went forth that the wise men should be slain. And they sought Daniel and his fellows to be slain. Daniel went in and desired of the king that he would give him time and that he would shew the king the interpretation. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, his companions, that they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning this secret that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Thanksgiving for the answered prayer. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Daniel answered and said, blessed be the name of God forever and ever for wisdom and might are his. 
and he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. for the king therefore Daniel went in onto Ariok whom the king had ordained to destroy the wise men of Babylon he went and said thus unto him destroy not the wise men of Babylon bring me in before the king and I will shew unto the king the interpretation then Ariok brought in Daniel before the king in haste and said thus unto him I have found a man of the captives of Judah that will make known unto the king the interpretation the king answered and said to Daniel whose name was Balthazar art thou able to make known unto me the dream which I have seen and the interpretation thereof Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, The secret which the king hath demanded cannot the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, the soothsayers shoot onto the king. But there is a God in heaven that revealeth secrets and maketh known to the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall be in the later days, thy dream and the visions of thy head upon the Thy bed are these. The interpretation. This is the dream, and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Thou, O king, art a king of kings, for God of heaven hath given thee kingdom, power, and strength, and glory. And wheresoever 
the children of men dwell and the beasts of the field and the fowls of the heaven hath he given into thine hand and hath made thee ruler of all. Thou art this head of gold. And after thee shall arise another kingdom rule over all the earth and the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes part of potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face. And worshiped Daniel and commanded that they should offer an oblation and sweet adores unto him. The king answered it to Daniel and said, Oh, of truth is it that your God is a God of gods and Lord of kings and revealer of secrets, seeing thou coldest reveal the secret. Then the king made Daniel a great man and gave him many great gifts and made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon and chief of governors over all the wise men of Babylon. Then Daniel, Daniel requested of the king and he set Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego over the affairs of the province of Babylon. But Daniel sat in the gate of the king. The king's image of gold. The king made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, sent to gather together the princes. The governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then a herald cried aloud to you. It is commanded, O oh people, nations and languages, that at what time ye hear the sound of music, ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar king hath set up. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth shall the shame shall the same hour be cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace
Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, these men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury and the form of his fishes was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than if it won't to be heated. most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats and their hosen and their hats and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men and Abednego fell down, bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no hurt and the form of the fourth is 
like the Son of God, God's servants. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning, fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego come forth of the midst of the fire and the princes, the governors, the captains, the kings, the counselors being gathered together saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power nor was a hair of their head singed neither were their coats changed nor the smell of the fire had passed on them then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who hath sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him, and have changed the king's word, and yielded their bodies, that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak any things amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made a dunghill, because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar was at rest in mine house and flourishing in mine palace. I saw a dream which made me afraid and the thoughts upon my bed and the visions of my head troubled me.
whose name was Balthazar. According to the name of my God, and in whom is the spirit of the holy gods, and before him I told the dream, saying, Tell me the visions of my dream that I have seen, and the interpretations thereof. Daniel's troubled thoughts. Then Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, was astonished for one hour, and his thoughts troubled him. The king spake and said, Belteshazzar, let not the dream or the interpretation thereof trouble thee. Belteshazzar answered and said, The tree that thou sawest, which grew and was strong, whose height reached on to the heaven, and the sight thereof to all the earth. And whereas the king saw a watcher and a holy one coming down from the heaven and saying, who through the tree He threw the tree down and destroy it, yet leave the stump of the roots thereof in the earth, even with a band of iron and brass in the tender grass of the field, and let it be wet with dew of the heavens, and let his portion be with the beast of the field till seven times pass over. This is the interpretation, O king, and this is the decree of the Most High, which is come upon my lord the king, that thy shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beast of the field, and thy shall make thee to eat grass as oxen do, and they shall wet thee with the dew of the heaven, and seven times shall pass over thee, till thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomever he will. And whereas they commanded to leave the stump of the tree roots, thy kingdom shall be sure unto thee. After that thou shalt have known that the heavens do rule. Wherefore, O king, let my counsel be acceptable unto thee, and break off thy sins by righteousness and thy equities by shewing mercy to the poor if it may be a lengthening of thy tranquility but the king's pride will boast all this came upon the king nebuchadnezzar at the end of 12 months he walked into the palace of the kingdom of babylon at the end of 12 months he walked into the palace and spake and said is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty while the word in the king's mouth there fell voice a voice from the heaven saying O King Nebuchadnezzar to thee it is spoken the kingdom is departed from thee and they shall drive thee from men and the dwelling shall be with the beast of the field they shall make thee eat grass as oxen and seven times shall pass over thee until thou know the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it to whomever he will the same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar and he was driven from men and did eat grass and was driven from men and did eat grass as an oxen and his body was wet with the dew of heaven till his hairs grown like eagle feathers and his nails like bird claws. After seven years of madness, Nebuchadnezzar prays for God. And at the end of the day, 
eyes, I Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up mine eyes onto the heavens, and mine understanding returned unto me, and I bless it. Heaven! <laughs> 